18 minutes after 7 on a Friday, TJ, a Friday, Friday. No, it's no longer quarter to weekend. <gasps> it's actually the weekend. Been weekend. Been. Yeah, and we have an important guest in studio today. Joy Rukaza is a talented Zimbabwean singer songwriter who launched a music career in 2014 with the EP Against All Odds, produced by Skyver. Her powerful vocals on the song Shingirira quickly gained recognition in Zimbabwe and South Africa, leading to collaborations with esteemed producers like Inno Soul, China Music, Tanta YV, K Breezy and Panets. Her versatility and talent have been showcased through notable tracks like Tamba and features on award-winning albums like Music. Since her solo debut, New Day, in 2021, Joy Rukanza has continued to make waves in the music industry with well-received singles like Roses and Quindom, which achieved significant airplay and chart success. She has also been featured on global platforms like Apple Music, Boomplay, and Spotify. Currently, Joy Rukanza is preparing for an exciting orchestral performance on September 7th, where she'll perform her pop music with a live orchestra featuring a fusion of talent from Harare and Bulawayo. This upcoming show promises to be a unique and unforgettable experience, highlighting Joy's growth and artistry. And she is here with us today. Da, 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 da. Right. <laughs> Joy, welcome to the show. Oh, thank you so much for having me. So happy to be here again. <laughs> Joy. We've had discussions before, uh -huh. so I know we have to jump in about this orchestra um, event that you got lined up. Yeah. But one thing, the name of Meta, Meta More for Sis. Yeah. <laughs> that, I, I saw that, right? And I was like, what? I was that guy, like, oh my gosh, Matter More for Sis. Cause yeah. like, like one of those beatnik rappers did right. the pose. Yeah. Firstly, before we go to the name of that, yeah. like where did that come from, the origin of that? Um, I'm, I'm glad that you asked that because it's always like that, question that I get usually when people look at my album title. So actually, yes, it's Metamorphosis and I wanted to write a body of work that that tells a story. So Metamorphosis is a conceptual album right. um, that talks about transformation. Mm -hmm. And if you listen to the album in chronologically, um, it tells a story of a woman that just found out that someone that she's in a relationship with has not been faithful. So <laughs> she <laughs> So, Ew. so it starts out, starts off at a very low point where she's struggling to survive, right. and she's having to resort to, you know, dreamland so that she can live a fantasy of what a great relationship is. Right. Hence, the song "Survive the Night." But as this uh, album progresses, she gains her strength, and mm -hmm. she eventually learns how to love again. And so the, the album begins at a very low point, even the tempos um, right. of the songs right, and so on and right. so forth. And then as the album progresses, we see that transformation. She starts to love again. Right. She opens up her heart and mm -hmm. eventually she's looking to be in a relationship again. So that transformation right. tells, you know, that, that that's where it comes from. Because metamorphosis, as we know it, right. is, is, a, is a form of transformation. Right. And mm -hmm. as we learned it, um, it's usually symbolized with a butterfly that yeah. Yeah. starts off in a very dark place, but then it becomes something magical at the end. I absolutely so, love that. <laughs> so that, 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 that was what uh, it was inspiring the album. From now on, every time I recommend the album to anybody, I'll just say, don't press random. Right, because that's one. what I was Keep thinking too. Like you, you, shouldn't, or you shouldn't play it on shuffle. But let's talk about the orchestra, because that's such, first of all, it's such a bold artistic mm. choice to make, yeah. because, but then let, let, let's uh, talk about why you chose to, to do it on orchestra. Yeah, I chose to do an orchestra because I've always been someone that's uh, very much musical. I right. grew up singing in the fire uh -huh. and I would always envision myself right. in those big stages uh -huh. like looking at orchestral right. classical performances uh -huh. right. and I wanted that for myself and I wasn't able to actually experience that up until I went to college right. in the United States and I started uh -huh. taking musical classes. In one of the musical classes, one of our assignments at the end of the semester was uh -huh. to have an orchestral performance. Right. It was one of the most wow. magical experiences uh -huh. and I was in a big choir with right. a big orchestra and so since then I've always wanted to really you know right. get that experience and so I, I decided to, to go for it so mm -hmm. after releasing Metamorphosis it was also a dream of mine to also perform it live but also make it special by right. bringing in those elements mm -hmm. that we have in Zimbabwe. Now this is happening on September 7th. Yes. I can't even imagine the kind of work it takes to put that kind of event together. Can yeah. you just run through just on the on the tip of the iceberg or just on top of the how, how busy was it just to get that organized? We're not even talking about the artists yet. And the yeah. working. Just pulled, the actual organization. <laughs> yeah, I pulled an all-nighter yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. I actually did not sleep at all. <laughs> because yeah, of all the, all, the, all the different things that we've had to do. And so um, it's a very involved process. Right. I'm going to be having the orchestra coming from Harare uh -huh. and then the musicians that I'm going to be having as 
part of the choir in Bulao. Right. So we started planning this remotely. Mm -hmm. I was practicing on my own, the choir is practicing on their mm -hmm. own, the orchestra has been practicing right. with the band. And so it's a lot of moving pieces, a lot mm -hmm. of communication and a lot of, you know, like it's frustrating mm -hmm. but then very fulfilling at the end because when you ultimately see your um, your product coming into fruition. This is your baby. It's, it's very, man. it's very satisfying. Yeah. And yeah, I'm, 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 I'm extremely excited about it. Now, as an artist, is there any rearranging of music that you actually do from mm -hmm. the what we're used to on? On, on Apple yeah. to actually getting into orchestra. How do you rearrange that? Absolutely. Um, so when the idea came to life, I engaged with a musical director, right. and then I knew that because we wanted to also include some elements that are not on my original song, mm -hmm. um, we had to engage an orchestral arranger. Mm -hmm. So we engaged a wonderful lady. Her name is Tia. She mm -hmm. sat down, listened to my music, and then she started writing the music specifically for the orchestral performance. So yeah. she stripped down the songs as we know yeah. them from, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like the original production right. that we have on streaming platforms and specifically tailored the performance, the, the, the songs for the actual performance. Oh, so everything has been redone and yeah, it was a lot of work. Yeah. I can't even imagine. I'm getting tired of, I, I'm just imagining even the Zoom calls alone. Just right. Absolutely, the <laughs> bandwidth just, yeah. for but, the band. Yeah. Right. So please take us through, because obviously it's not a one person job. You've yeah. brought in people from Harare, brought in people from so two questions. One, what criteria were you using to like pick? And then also number two, is this going to is this like a one time thing or is it going to be recorded and then redistributed? Oh, okay. Um, so to answer your first question, um, it was a very involved process. Mm -hmm. I also tapped into some people that I trust right. that are in music that have done this kind of performances right. and it became very clear that I needed to also tap into music musicians from other cities. Right. It wasn't going to be possible to solely do it with mm -hmm. only people in Blaue. Right. And so I reached out to the people that I've trusted and mm -hmm. then they made some suggestions. Right. And so from those suggestions, I was able to find the best of the okay. best. And so the best orchestra, the best band, the best musician. Feel free to name so drop. So, forth. Um, so the musical director right. is going to be Tiboni Matikiti. Okay. He's a very um, talented uh, like musician. Right. He's going to be directing the whole performance. Mm -hmm. and he's actually yeah he studied music at the University of Cape Town he's yeah. also working towards his masters mm -hmm. it's still in Bosch and so right. I'm really excited to be working with the best mm -hmm. of the best mm -hmm. for sure for sure <laughs> yeah actually on the best of the best um, I'm, I'm curious to know about the artists who also be performing mm -hmm. and how do you think that the the artists will be performing as part of this orchestral performance will be bringing in that kind of energy well what, what, what do you think the X factor will be when they're adding on to it okay so we have uh, the musicians that are going to be performing with me, and then we also have an opening act. Her name is Kyla Black. Oh. Kyla, we had another week. Yeah, yeah. Week, so. so she's going to be coming through, and she's going to be like our special guest, starting off the performance. I'm very excited to have mm -hmm. her. She's very talented. Her voice is very magical, and so on. And so you see, like it's going to be a fusion of like our music is quite different. She will bring her own mm -hmm. element, and then I'm also going to be bringing my right. own element as well. So that fusion, yeah. that you know, having that extra touch mm -hmm. from her. I think it's gonna blow everything through the roof. Do you have any other featuring artists or like surprises during the performance? Um, I mean, <laughs> Kyla, 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 Kyla. <laughs> yeah. No spoilers, all right, so no spoilers. But we know yeah. Color Black is yeah. definitely gonna be there. That's gonna be fantastic. You're so right, because different energies, but yeah. I feel like the, the, the way it resonates with my spirit is the same. Like, but I would love to see Color Black and Johnny Cuts on the yeah. same stage. The personification of, because I love uh, performers who are very, it feels very female centric. It yes. feels like a celebration of, of, of black femininity. Mm -hmm. It feels like a celebration of black womanhood so I am excited for that yeah. but um, other than obviously in terms of genre it differs but what else are you bringing that's new that like a side of you that we haven't seen other than the genre of course oh, okay and I love the fact that you alluded to femininity right um, because another element that I forgot to mention when you're asking about the album title is that it's an album that's written it's an odd to women mm -hmm. uh, because women are often mm. you know in positions where they right. sort of like hold themselves back mm in order to make sure that other people sure. are advancing. Mm -hmm. So it's metamorphosis. It's mm -hmm. like metamorpho yourself sister. And so that's the yeah. message that I'm hoping will be uh -huh. able to, you know, resonate with the audience as well. It's a celebration of women. And what else that's different that I'm bringing? It's my first time ever. I'm going to be performing with an orchestra in right. Zimbabwe. So mm -hmm. that's the fresh element that I'm bringing sure. that I'm right. very excited about. And uh, it's something new. I, mm -hmm. I don't know, probably there have been performances like this, but in my capacity, I'm not too sure if they have ever, it's ever been like in, in like in Wallawe at least, right. like a fusion of pop mm -hmm. and classical. So right. our tagline is like pop meets classical, right. but something new, something right. fresh. That's, right. that's what excites me.
Okay, yeah. just a quick one before, because I know we never have enough time, girls. Right? <laughs> um, just a quick one. There's one thing I know, aside from this, I know we're going to come back to the, to the, to the performance, but the one thing that I really, really love that you do on a personal tip mm -hmm. is um, you're assisting a lot of kids moving around in Lawayo for transport and everything. Can you just get into that real quick? Because yeah. I feel like that's a beautiful thing that you're doing. It's a wonderful initiative. Yeah, um, so I like to pay it forward. In order for me to get to the position where I am, I, I was inspired by a lot of people that have taken the opportunity to give back to the community. Right. And so, yeah, I decided to do the Joyride Initiative. Um, it was in celebration for my album. And I used to walk to school as well. And so I was like, oh, okay, in celebration of this, right. I'd like to inspire the kids to also take their education very seriously. Yeah. Because, um, I mean, at least for my path, I was able to get where I am because of the opportunities that education accorded me. And so I just thought it would be great to also tap into to, you know the community and then inspire young young kids and just let them know that you know anything is possible right. any dreams that they have they can always come to fruition if they take them seriously and I know that maybe you may be blessed and you know like in academia and you may be talented at sports and so on and so forth just being able to tell my story in the hopes of making sure that it resonates right. and it will inspire other young people yeah. to really tap into whatever they are passionate about. Yeah, that's what the whole initiative was all about. Absolutely love it. Shout absolutely out to you for amazing. that one, man. That's absolutely you. beautiful. <laughs> Joy, it's been such, man, it's been such a great honor having you here. I like seeing people evolve, yeah. like having, like seeing your career grow from where you started and where you are now. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. This is absolutely <laughs> fantastic. And we are so excited for this. That's September the 7th. Mm -hmm. when the, we're going to catch that bus. We're going to go for flights because we're trying to be eco-safe. So we'll be okay. catching the bus and we'll take it out on um, September 7th, rather. Yes. And it's going to be absolutely phenomenal. Of course, Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis is out right now. Yes. Yes. So mm -hmm. cop that album, of course. You know Joy that comes on social media platforms. Whatever your favorite social media streaming platform is or your music streaming platform is, make sure you cop the album, have a listen to it. Don't press shuffle. Press play and let it go and just, you know, be in it. But here's one track we have to um, play before we take a quick break. We'll be right back. It is a daily dose on NRTV. Don't touch that dial. Don't go anywhere. Metamorphosis. <laughs> 